My dad and his sister became Iowa teachers, both retired with good government pensions. Without protections from our government, my family would not enjoy a decent middle class life. But the middle class is under attack by big banks and corporate one percenters whose insatiable greed demands a bigger share of the pie for themselves. To do so, they subvert the government, corrupt the political process, and buy and twist legislation for their own personal gain. They work to destroy laws protecting hardworking middle class Americans. They solidify their power with unrepresented influence, influence they use to declare their companies are people without responsibility. As a union member, as a husband and a father, I look upon the government to help ensure we remain safe and financially secure. I saw so many people unemployed, underemployed, so many homes that were being foreclosed on, and just a lot of unfairness in our society. So I came past now. values that many Iowans cherish. I am also a college graduate from Iowa State University. I grew up with the notion that if I work hard and educate myself, I can create a good life for myself and my future family. Until 2008, when the economy crashed, I still believed that to be true. Now I see the American dream fading fast. Greedy corporations have corrupted political officials elected to stand for the American people. In doing so, the 99% has lost their power and their voice. Families are being kicked out of their homes after being subject to predatory lending. The cost of health care has gone so high that many families are forced to decide which child is covered. Students are finding it harder and harder to find a career that they are not overqualified for and that pays for their monthly tuition bill. This is not right, and that is why I am here. I see an economy which over the past few decades has enhanced the wealth and power of the 1% at the expense of poor and middle class Americans. I see a concentrated financial sector which continues to dominate our economy and political institutions despite plunging the country into a recession. I see my fellow graduates take jobs and enter careers they loathe, simply to pay off thousands in student loan debt. I know something is very, very wrong. I watch with cash and overwhelmed by concentrated corporate power. The People's Caucus will empower the disenfranchised, the 99%. Our direct actions will confront the bought and paid for politicians who perpetuate the current system. And our teachings will speak to issues not normally covered by the media. Join us. Yeah. From 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., we will be holding teach-ins about the issues that are important to the 99%. From knowing your rights, to community organizing, to corporate personhood, these are topics that, these are topics that will interest everyone. Then, Tuesday evening, we will be holding the true First in the Nation Caucus. called the People's Caucus, it will be a chance for the members of the 99% to have their issues heard. We will be splitting into presidential disc preference groups, just like the January 3rd caucuses. We will also have a resolution process, similar to what they do in the actual caucuses held on January 3rd. People from around Iowa and across the country will get a chance to speak for two minutes on an issue that's important to them. And then for the rest of the week, these presidential dispreference groups will conduct a series of direct actions focused on campaign headquarters and other symbols of corporate power. Each evening at 7 o'clock, we'll have more teach-ins. And finally, between 10, 10 p.m. and midnight, we will have an open mic time for musicians, performance artists, dancers, and other artistic folks to come and share their talents. Just a reminder one more time, because this message doesn't seem to be getting out, we will not be interfering with the Democratic and Republican caucuses on January 3rd. That said, 
we encourage every Iowan who will be participating to go and caucus for uncommitted to show our vote of no confidence in the system. Yeah. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.